Oh, I did not know you could do this. Okay, this vendor at the flea market will let you trade my sim trophies. Maybe for one that I don't have? Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to an Amanda Plays Sims Legacy Challenge or APS Challenge. So we've actually moved in the friend now and Claire is here and Claire Ann is also here. So Claire Ann in the last episode aged up to a toddler and then we have Amelia and Amal as infants. Forrest is continuing with his higher education and so he cannot afford very much in the way of housing. What I had to do is just break things up a little bit and I did change some of the wallpapers because believe it or not this clean version of this green tile is a lot cheaper than the other version that was dirty. Don't ask me why. So we have this bedroom which is styled how Claire likes her bedroom. So it has a lot of purple and we don't have any boho decor yet because we can't afford new furniture. But eventually this will become her space. Then we have Claire Ann, which is the toddler. And she's here in this room with her sleeping bag and her toddler potty. And then we just have the infants out in this little living room area where there is a couch for Forrest. Yes, he has to sleep on the couch for now. And we have this small little kitchen and an office space in the corner. Now, we are allowed to make money with Claire, but right now she is running amok. Okay, the flea market is in town, so I guess we have to go there. And also the Festival of Youth is in town. So here we are at the flea market and we're going to try to take everyone whenever we can. And yeah, some of this stuff is pretty nice, but I don't think I can afford any, any of it. Okay, we'll try haggling with the vendor and see if we can get any discounts. No, of course not. Oh, oh, I did not know you could do this. Okay, this vendor at the flea market will let you trade my sim trophies. Maybe for one that I don't have? I did not know that you could do this. Okay, so I traded a hopper and I got a hopper. Ugh, that is not a new item. Let's try again. Oh, no items to trade. Okay, well that was dumb. Okay, you can ask the garden shop owner. Okay, so you can ask multiple people to trade collectibles. I wonder if this is only at the flea market or if you can do this normally. Oh, she didn't like that. Okay. Can I please get something other than Hopper? Oh, I got Gonk. I actually don't have that one. Well, now I wish I had brought all my duplicates with me. Oh, well, I'll know for next time. Well, here we are at the Festival of Youth where we have all the kids playing. And yes, this is only for children, really. Not for toddlers, not for infants. So what I did is I made over this room over here in the local bar and I put some stuff in here for toddlers and infants and also for children too, but mostly for toddlers and infants. Okay, and apparently there's some kind of paper hat maybe? I can't wear it though since I'm an adult, but Claire will be able to wear it when she gets older. And then, of course, we'll get a semi capsule. And we got a golden gnome semi. Yeah, I think it's a flea market thing. So I sent Claire back to the flea market with all of her stuff. Oh, look at this. It's a table full of my sim trophies. Oh, this makes it so easy. Now, only if we had enough money. Oh, we got a Lindsay out of that. I should have written down which ones I had, but I think I can find out on my panel. Let me just figure out if I can trade some more. And we got a goth boy, which is rare. And we got a chef Gino. It's kind of sad that they don't let you pick which one you get, but I can understand why. 
Oh, and I got a Chaz McFreely. Oh, and a Jenny. So yeah, I traded all of my duplicates and got something each time that was different. Okay, she has a zombie Carl, but it's 130 simoleons. I'm not sure I can afford that. Seriously, I can't get a discount when I'm confident. <sighs> well, I could buy these, but I don't have enough money to buy these. So we'll have to do it another time. I've never seen my Sims trophies, though, so maybe I should try and get some of the cheaper ones. Let's see, I don't have Yuki. I also need old Gabby. And Morcubus. Um, well, that's probably all I can afford. They also have a zombie Carl, but I can't really afford that one. Okay, on Monday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., we have a meet a celebrity at the Orchid Agogo. We also have the Humor and Hijinks Festival from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. And we called off from work, so we're taking family leave. But we also have two classes, one at 9.30 a.m. and one at 1.30 p.m. that we have to remember to go to. And Forrest is level 10 parenting. Wow, that is really great. And it's the Humor and Hijinks Festival. We'll go to that right after we're done cooking dinner. Okay, we got an A-plus in all of our coursework, even though we missed a class. And we only need four more classes to graduate. Well, we'll join the pranksters again, of course. It's so funny because Forrest actually dislikes mischief, but he's level 7 mischief. And he always joins the pranksters because he's mean. Why are you on your phone, Forrest? Finish your stupid brochet, or whatever that is, brochette. Why are you on your phone? He's doing all these interactions with nothing in his queue. Okay, so finally he learned how to make it. Okay, the pranksters won again. Good. Okay, Forrest has earned the coffee fanatic lifestyle. Now he has some other lifestyles that are in progress. I'm not sure if we want him to be single and loving it or health food nut or people person. Probably single and loving it, but not people person or health food nut. Great, we have toxic mold, and we have a broken sink and a broken coffee maker. Unfortunately, Forrest is a little busy right now because he's trying to finish his homework and people keep talking to him. Oh, did somebody clean the mold? I didn't notice. It's gone. Well, thank you whoever cleaned it. I didn't see who did it. So it's Amal and Amelia's birthday. I had to renovate the house, and it is a double wide now. It looks like a true double wide. So I have the sloped roof instead of the bubble roof that I had before. And we have three bedrooms inside. So Forrest sharing a bedroom with Claire Ann. Claire has her own bedroom in the back, and then the twins have a bedroom to share. And I put the toddler potty in here because we're going to have three toddlers. And I thought this kitchen setup looked really nice with the linoleum. We have the little desk area and the couch out here. So we actually have a small living room now. There's still technically no place to eat, so no dining room. But that's just how it goes. Okay, I think Amal is older, so we will age him up first. And happy birthday, Amal! And Amal is going to be inquisitive. And happy birthday, Amelia! And Amelia is going to be angelic. So I forgot when I aged them up that I have the kids inheriting traits from their parents. And Amal got independent and top-notch infant just from being a top-notch infant. But he inherited independent from his mother, Claire. And Claire had a ton of traits. So Amelia got domestic, hardly hungry, high self-esteem, seldom sleepy, 
independent and quick learner. Well, I did not expect that um, because Claire had a whole bunch of traits from the reward store. So therefore, Amelia, and I was going to use her for the air too. So, oh, that is a little unfortunate because I really didn't want her to have all of those traits, especially seldom sleepy and hardly hungry, both of those and independent so basically she's not going to need socialization very much she's not going to need sleep very much and she's not going to eat very much but at least it's not completely need free i don't like it when they don't have any needs at all all right first things first learn how to use the potty well amelia is a little bit upset she doesn't like wake up time oh no all right, Amelia and Forrest are going to be difficult. That's not fun. And now she doesn't want to hug him. Oh, that's so sad. All right, stop interacting with him, her, Forrest. Just leave her alone. Okay, we don't have anything until 11 a.m. We don't really want to go to work, though. Okay, we actually got a toy in the mailbox. So these three children now have one toy to share. Well, it's football team sports day, but we don't have any teenagers, so we're not going to that. Now, technically, Forrest is supposed to go to his university events, but I've kind of been ignoring them. Let's see if there's anything today. Of course, there's always the study session. I guess we can work on our paper there, and then we can go to the Bot Savants robot building meetup. Okay, it looks like both computers are taken up. We'll have to convince someone to get off the computer. Oh, he's leaving. My turn. Okay, the Brainiacs are supposed to be studying. This guy is playing The Sims Medieval? Maybe we should join the Brainiacs. I mean... It's the last semester and it's almost over, but hey, maybe we'll get something out of it. Oh, we got an official Brainiacs organization t-shirt and a poster. Cool. And I did edit some of Forrest's outfits to have all of the festival t-shirts. So he has either a hot weather, an athletic, or an everyday outfit using all of the t-shirts and other memorabilia that he bought. I'm really tired of the bars not having any options for coffee. I mean, come on. They all serve coffee. So I put an espresso machine up here and also a coffee maker. Oh, the debate guild is here also. I thought it was the bot savants, but no, it's the Brainiacs bar night. Oh, it is the bot savants. Okay, so why is there a debate club member here? I think the debate club is Brightchester. Okay, so the debate club is Brightchester, and there's supposed to be the bot savants here, too? Maybe they're not having it at this bar. Maybe they're having it at another bar. Well, Forrest hates robotics, and he's probably going to electrocute himself again, but... Oh, he got his finger pinched? That was it? Well, you can resume from that. Oh, come on. Why can't I resume this now? Oh, I guess if you're very uncomfortable, you can't resume it. Okay, unfortunately, we have work in four hours, and we have no vacation days, and we can't call in sick or play hooky. So our performance is going to drop a little bit. I don't think it matters, really, because I don't think that we can get promoted before we're going to graduate anyway. Okay, Amal and Amelia are going to be jokesters. Oh, dirty money. Going over some routine expense reports, Forrest notices some lines that don't seem to match up. Upon further investigation, he discovers that a lot of money is being funneled into some secretive executive accounts. Forrest doesn't have much standing at the company yet, but this seems like the kind of thing that should be taken to the authorities, right? Now... If I turn over the paperwork, I will gain fame and reputation but lose the job. And the good thing about that is I'm about to finish my university degree and get to level eight of the career automatically in which, you know, I'm going to have to quit my job anyway and rejoin it. So I might as well get a fame point by doing it. And now Forrest is a one-star celebrity.
And yeah, we rejoined the career at level one, but we did get three more vacation days. Okay, it's Claire Ann's birthday, so I had the toddlers actually get some sleep so that they should be rested now. And we're going to go somewhere for her birthday. I think there's a couple of festivals today, the Festival of Snow and something else. Okay, there's a talent showcase and the Festival of Light, not the Festival of Snow. But they're both pretty late. They don't start until 6 p.m. Forrest, why are you being mean? Great. So now he's going to be difficult with Amal as well. What if I apologize? Because that was really mean, Forrest. You didn't have to do that. And happy birthday, Claren. You're going to be a child. And she's going outside to age up, of course. Okay, Claire Ann is adopted. So she gets a random trait as her childhood trait. Or was it her teenage trait? I forget. Okay, it is a random one as a child. Dog lover. Okay, so she can be a dog lover. Let's also make her a motor child. Okay, and this is our little Claire Ann aged up into a child. Now let's hurry up and go to the talent showcase that we're missing. Okay, we didn't arrive in time to participate, but we did bring our club members here so we could get our energy up. Now on to the Festival of Light. And every time we come to the Festival of Light, we'll wear the kimono and make a wish. At least this place has coffee. And we'll get a semi-capsule. And we got Madame Zoe. Okay, it looks like Claire angered a forest spirit when she attempted to collect it because she's going around collecting things. Oh, and it's after 1 a.m. You should be possessed now. Well, maybe it lets you finish your harvesting first. Oh, yes, it did. All right, we expanded again with our limited funds. And we have a larger bedroom now with all of the kids in it. And Forrest has more space in his room since we moved out Claire Ann. Then Claire has a larger bedroom because it's now the same size as Forrest's. And we just have this hallway that dead ends into nothing. That will be fixed later when I get some more money to expand the house even further. But right now we're at 56 tiles out of 64. So if we get too much bigger, we might actually lose the tiny home benefits, especially the skill building ones, which is fine because we're no longer at the beginning of the generation one where we had to maximize our time as much as possible. So I think this will be okay for now. All right, today we have the Finchwick Fair, a talent showcase, and the Romance Festival. So I'm going to visit them in that order because the Finchwick Fair opens first, and I really don't want to stay there very long. Then talent showcase, I want to stay for the whole thing and possibly participate. And then maybe we'll go to the Romance Festival because that's not over until 1 a.m. Oh, it's School Spirit Day, so we also have university events. I completely forgot. Okay, we'll try to finish this little toy bot while we're here, because it happens to be here still. And, of course, we got electrocuted. Okay, the Fenchwick Fair has started. We'll just get a little bit of energy from the club members here, and then we'll head to that. Okay, and the Romance Festival actually starts at 5, so we'll go to the Romance Festival first. Now, the Romance Festival really isn't Claire's thing, because she's anti-romance, and oh, Forrest is kissing Jade for some reason. Okay, well, Claire is going to go home for this one, and just Forrest is going to hang out. Well, it is time for this talent showcase, so we better get out of here before Forrest does something that he might regret. Okay, so the story is Claire is actually anti-romantic. She's unflirty and she's not interested in romance with anyone. So that's why she's never going to get married. Forrest, however, is just single and loving it after his bad romance. So he's going to have romance here and there, maybe a date or two, but he's going to avoid a committed relationship. Supposedly, we can sign up at the bar, but I don't see an option for it, really. 
Maybe it's because I don't have a talent. Oh, here, you have to actually click on the bar, not the barkeeper. Join Open Mic. Okay, we'll join. I've never actually been able to get this to work. Okay, it says Forrest Daly has been signed up for the talent showcase. Feel free to use the mic or instrument once it's time to get on stage. Does it tell me when it's time to get on stage? I hope it does. Okay, it's not telling me to get up on stage, but I'm just going to go play the guitar for a little bit and see what happens. Well, I did happen to get level 2 with the guitar skill. I thought he had guitar skill already, but no, he did not. And I guess he likes guitar, sure. Okay, the talent showcase is finished, but did someone win? Or maybe there's no prize, it's just a showcase? Well, this is the end of the week, and Forrest is just living his best life at the bar. So maybe we'll get another espresso, and just relax for a bit. Yeah.